It's one of the most hyped up times of year for movie fans. Yes, I'm talking about award season and specifically the Oscars. Hi, I'm Yates, the state communications associate at FairVote, where we're known as the ranked choice voting people. I'm also a big movie fan, and these two things collide when we talk about the Oscars. But how's that? The Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences uses a voting method called ranked choice voting, or RCV, to select the winner of the best picture category. How does RCV work? Well, it's what it sounds like. You rank your choices. Members of the Academy vote by ranking their favorite film as number one, their second favorite film as number two, and so on. If your number one choice doesn't have a chance of winning, your vote still counts for your second choice. Let's show you how it works. Our staff here at FairVote used ranked choice voting to pick our best picture, just like the Academy members do. The choices included five of this year's strongest candidates, Oppenheimer, Killers of the Flower Moon, Barbie, Anatomy of a Fall, and Poor Things. How'd it go? Who won? Let's hear from someone on our research team. Take it away, Sabrina. Thanks so much, Yates. Hi, I'm Sabrina, a research analyst at FairVote, and I'm also a really big movie buff. My favorite film this year was Past Lives, but let's see who my colleagues want as their best picture winner. First, we count up everyone's first choices. And after we do that, wow, Oppentimer has a really big lead, but it still doesn't have a majority. And with ranked choice voting, we're gonna make sure we have a majority. So now we eliminate the candidate with the fewest votes and nobody ranked Anatomy of a Fall or Poor Things first. So they're eliminated and there's not too much really happening there. But we still have three films left. Oppenheimer, Killers of the Flower Moon, and Barbie. And sadly, Barbie is in last place. So we're going to eliminate Barbie and see who the Barbie fans ranked second on their ballots. But before we do that, let's talk about what ranked choice voting means here. Barbie voters can pick their honest favorite first and still weigh in between the two heavyweights, Oppenheimer and Killers of the Flower Moon. It also means Barbie fans won't play spoiler. For example, what if all Barbie voters like killers better than Oppenheimer? In a regular choose one election, they're basically taking away votes from killers and hurting its chances. But with ranked choice voting, if they all rank killers second, they put it over the top. So what do you think they're going to do? Our fair vote best picture is, drum roll please, Oppenheimer. It looks like they weren't Killers of the Flower Moon fans after all. So the Barbie voters overwhelmingly picked Oppenheimer as their second choice and gave it a majority win. Oppenheimer had both deep and broad support, meaning most people ranked it as their first choice and a lot of people ranked it as their second choice. And ranked choice voting identifies a strong consensus winner and that's exactly what it did there. Yates, I'm thinking that the results we see here with our staff is going to be what we actually see on the night of the Oscars with Oppenheimer winning Best Picture. What do you think? Thanks, Sabrina. Well, I think I'm going to have to agree with you. I think Oppenheimer is one of these big, classic Hollywood movies. So I think it's exactly the kind of movie uh, that could win here. Uh, and it would just be in line with all of the other recent awards that Oppenheimer has won, whether it's at the Golden Globes, the Producers Guild of America Awards, the SAG Awards, and it would just kind of be in line with that. But we are looking forward to seeing who wins in reality on March 10th when the Oscars hold their special night. In the meantime, check out our website for more resources on ranked choice voting. Thanks for watching.